What if you stopped eating food for 24 hours straight? I know what happens. Best medicines are resting and fasting. Benjamin Franklin. Today my 24 hour fast has ended. It is almost five o'clock right now. Uh, my last meal was yesterday, five o'clock. So that makes for 24 hours. I didn't eat anything. I had almost two liters of water. I didn't experience any hunger during the day. Uh, I was thirsty quite a bit, so I drank a lot. Um, had a lot of energy. Felt quite good. Maybe between one and two in the afternoon, I, I had my stomach started to growl, but uh, I mean, that's normal. So uh, I will be eating soon. I will uh, keep you posted. And uh, two coffee, black. And now, I have a very nice treat for myself, yes? And I will tell you why I do these kind of things. There are a lot of benefits to fasting every once in a while, so... Hey guys, so uh, let me explain why I do these uh, kind of water fasts. Um, there are a number of reasons and a number of benefits for me. Uh, that I, I wrote down 15 reasons why I do it, or maybe not even reasons but benefits, and that's why they are reasons for me. So, um, first let me explain to you what what it is, what is a water fast. Um, basically humans are uh, naturally designed to um, fast, uh, we as a species are adapted to it. It's kind of a survival mechanism in times of famine. Uh, the second thing about fasting is it, it is in the biological adaptation from the body to to overcome uh, disease and diet dietary access so you know to um, when you're in a fasted state your body turns to your fat cells eventually and then they get uh, burned up for energy and they're back to normal again there are four phases an, an, a human body undergoes um, uh, phase one is called uh, gastrointestinal it's the first six hours when you're in a fasted state your body uh, takes the energy uh, left in your intestines. Phase two is glycogenolysis. Uh, this is uh, within 24 to 48 hours when you're in a fasted state. Your body takes the glucose out of your muscles and out of your liver to, uh, to use as fuel. Uh, your brain gets more glucose than the other parts of your body because your body gives what's it called? priority uh, to the brain. Phase three is glyconeogenesis. This is a very nice, super complicated mechanism of the human body. Uh, it only is, uh, it starts to work after 14 days of fasting, glyconeogenesis. What it does is your body takes all the proteins and turns the proteins into, into sugars, into glucose. Then phase four is ketosis. This is where the body um, uses byproduct of fatty acid metabolism to generate ketone bodies and the ketone bodies can be burned by the brain as fuel. Um, there are different books, uh, scientific studies, in which they state that the brain actually prefers ketones over glucose uh, and also the heart, diaphragm and liver. So those organs prefer to have ketose, ketosis or ketone bodies as a fuel uh, instead of glucose what you would normally think. Let me quickly share my um, benefits, why I do it every once in a while. Uh, number one is to, to reset my taste buds. Uh, if I uh, fast for 24 hours, maybe even longer, um, and thus the, it's, it's, a, it's a period in which I uh, abstain from eating food, any, any calories, any caloric in intake is uh, prohibited in my, in my view. Um, afterwards, what happens is your taste buds get very sensitive again and you start to like the the um, subliminal subliminal the subtle you start to like the subtle and taste the subtle foods again like if you normally used to um, say a Snickers or another uh, chocolate bar and you eat a, a strawberry afterwards the strawberry is not so strong anymore but if, if, if you have, if you fasted for a long period say 24 hours and you eat a strawberry again or maybe uh, some uh, spinach or something else, 
anything that has a more subtle flavor to it, it's, the flavor gets very intense and it's very nice because um, you experience food in a whole other way because you get your, I think that your, your taste buds get fucked by all the overstimulated and overprocessed foods we eat these days. So it's a nice, um, it's a nice side step to make instead of the heavily processed foods to go back to what you eat. vegetables, uh, legumes uh, actually taste wonderful again. So that's a nice thing. That's number one. Okay, number two, high blood pressure. Uh, in neural studies, they show that people suffering from hypertension. Uh, so people who like had a high blood pressure uh, benefited uh, usually from 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 fasting because their blood blood pressure dropped and um, it remained stable and if they did it, did it for like frequently then it would be bad, better for your uh, blood pressure number three for me is detoxification uh, as a human being you get a lot of uh, tox toxins in your body by consumption of food uh, you, what you drink what you breathe in uh, maybe even through the skin so uh, when you fast it uh, faci facilitates the process of detoxification detoxification of your body and that helps uh, staying young feeling uh, vibrant feeling alive and feeling uh, good your body gets rid of the toxins are via the liver and the kidneys and if you do a water fast only then by you drinking water it um, it speeds up the process and helps to to regulate the normal balance again to get all the toxins out i mean you will never get all the toxins out of your body but it certainly helps the reason why you normally don't um the reason why you're normally not very successful in detoxification is because you you're constantly eating and if a digestive system is working all the time um it clashes with your liver and your kidneys so they do detoxify themselves but if you give your digestive system a rest, then it's way, way easier for your organs to start a detoxification process. Fourth reason is all about autoimmune disease, autoimmune disease and inflammation. Uh, autoimmune disease like leaky gut, Crohn's disease, uh, arthritis, uh, etc. are all, have all uh, they have a strong correlation with inflammation. Um, Another word for inflammation is the abnormal immune system. Your immune system reacts with antibodies uh, to protect itself normally, but when your immune system is not balanced, then your own body attacks itself. And that's, that's when you get um, autoimmune diseases and inflammation. So that's why prolonged inflammation usually goes hand in hand with autoimmune diseases, and that's not good. Also, uh, um, Free radicals can also play a big part in inflammation. So that's what I mentioned before. If you can deto detoxify yourself, then you slow the process of inflammation or maybe you eliminate it at all. So that would be nice. How do you get these free radicals? Um, you get it from smoking alcohol, I mean excessive alcohol, um, overheated animal fats, trans fat. The fasting can really do is to uh, motivate you because you, you get more in touch with your own body again to motivate you to quit all the all the nonsense, all the stupid habits you got. Maybe you drink too much, maybe you smoke, maybe you eat too much crap. So if you fast, fast, then you uh, kind of reset again. So that's a nice way to start again. <laughs> all right, number five. For me, uh, personally, this is a benefit. I feel very powerful when I'm fasting. It's due to the fact that I realize that my body still functions per perfectly, even though I haven't ate, eat, I haven't ate in um, 20 hours, maybe 24 hours. Uh, makes me feel really like grateful to have a human body. Where you, normally you don't really push yourself in uh, that kind of way maybe. And then if you do, now you can really see um, what your body can do. And that gives a lot of confidence and appreciation for your own body and that's also a good thing number six for me very important uh, one of the main reasons why i do it often is it gives me a lot of clarity in my brain sometimes i feel very like uh, foggy in my brain brain fogged but when i'm on a fast 
everything is so clear. I'm very receptive. I hear everything perfectly. I, I can think fast. If I, if I, if I lost something, maybe say for instance, I lost my keys, I know instantly where they are. And when I eat during the day, that's usually not the case. So the clarity aspect is a very, very, very important reason for me to fast. Okay, reason number seven. This sounds silly, but uh, I developed hay fever since uh, maybe three years or something. Every summer, uh, I have hay fever for three or four months in a row. And I thought, what if? I started fasting in the summer. I did. I fasted for 24 hours. After that, my hay fever was gone. But it came back eventually when the, when the, when the pulse were in the air again. So after a week or two, it came back. So I started fasting again for 24 hours, sometimes even up to 48 hours, and then it's gone. So that's the best remedy for me. I can take antihistamine, like tablets, uh, to to suppress the hay fever, but I, I get very tired. And when I when I um, fast, I don't get tired. So I forgot to tell you number eight. So number eight for me is uh, psoriasis. Psori psori psoriasis. I had it on my elbow, like a... Uh, I had it like, no, there's nothing anymore, but I had it once and my mom told me, oh, because you can never lose it again if you have it once, it only gets worse. So then I started fasting for 48 hours and within a week it was gone and it did not return. So. Number nine. Number nine is about HGH. It stands for human growth hormone. It increases like exponentially when you're in a fast. I think it was was over over a thousand percent males, maybe even more. I don't know the exact numbers, but it increases your HGH. Your HGH is a hormone produced by your um, pituitary 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 gland. However, HGH also plays a very important role in adults. Um, people with HGH deficiencies have a higher uh, higher body fat, lower lean mass, and uh, and decreased bone mass. What? Right, number 10, autophagy. Auto what? Autophagy. It literally, literally means uh, self-eating. So it's a, it's a stage in which your body starts to eat itself, but that sounds a bit scary. It doesn't really eat itself, it just cleans house. It eats all the waste products that are all around in your uh, in your body, in your cells, and so that your body uses the waste to to consume it as energy. It's kind of bit as the same as you throw your garbage away, and the recycle company burns everything, and they make energy out of it. Your cells uh, create membranes that hunt out uh, dead cells or dead scraps of cells or uh, manipulated cells, and or even worn, worn out cells, uh, they gobble them up, strip them for parts, and use the resulting uh, molecules as a fuel or to make new cells. Right, number number 11 for me. <laughs> Goodbye DOMS. D-O-M-S. Delayed onset muscle soreness. It's kind of uh, muscle fever. It's the feeling you get when you start on a Tuesday with leg day, have your workout, and then the feeling you get on a Thursday. Usually it starts setting in in about 24 to 72 hours. Like it, it hurts like hell. But when I'm in a faster state and I have, say today, it's today is Friday. Uh, I started my fast uh, yesterday, but that's not what, what I meant to say. I worked out on Wednesday, so the day before yesterday, and I did a heavy uh, workout with the legs. and. Today I, f I felt, I mean, yesterday I felt really sore, and usually this day I feel even more sore. But because I fasted, the pain just just goes away. I still feel it in my legs, I feel I have a little bit of muscle fever, a bit of soreness, but not, not as heavy. Normally it will be 100%, and now it's maybe 20%, so due to the fasting state. And I think it's because your body uses all the waste products in your muscles, I don't know what it's called, maybe lactate to produce energy. So the strange thing is, you work out, you create um, micro traumas, micro traumas in your, in your muscles. That's the reason why they grow. 
and if you then stop eating your body goes back to what your body considered as a waste product and takes the lactate acid out of your muscles and converts it back to energy so that's why the pain gets less and less and less during the day because my body takes the waste out of my muscles and it doesn't really eat your muscles up that would be very uh, very inefficient as a human being if a body starts eating muscles within a day I mean think back to the to the hunter-gatherer stone age to the time think back to the time when we used to hunt for animals if we hadn't eat for a day maybe a week it would be very uh, strange that our body would eat our legs which we need so much to hunt reason number 12 for you to try this is you have tons of energy during your day um, I remember I started in 2011 with uh, fasting I was in New Zealand in Piha it was a small uh, place on a southern island and uh, my friend told me uh, you should try it so I tried it uh, I went into a fast for about 20, 20 hours something then in the afternoon I still hadn't eaten and to go out for a run so I told him now let's go so I took my backpack and we get go to the like the trails the Piha trails uh, I was I was running for maybe one and a half hour two hours well, it was the best experience ever I, I had absolutely tons of energy um, and I thought I would be very um, like faint you know like because I had a low blood pressure a low blood sugar but I was just I mean I noticed that I I didn't have re the real uh, explosive power like the sprinting but uh, like a 10 15 kilometer run was 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 great was perfect so that's why I also like it so you have tons of energy you can go for a run if you want to and if you do it a lot eventually your body gets used to uh, burning fat quicker than you know normally starts with glucose and then it transitions uh, earlier to fat burning and that's very nice I mean there are more calories in fats than in carbs or proteins I mean one gram of fat is nine calories so do the math and number 13 is uh, losing weight that's a benefit that that's because your blood level of insulin drops significantly uh, which ac accommodates fat burning number 14 is a very important reason uh, when you fast regularly it helps to control your hunger instead of the other way around so that's also nice number 15 why I do this every once in a while all about genes all about gene expression there are beneficial beneficial changes several genes and molecules related to longevity and protection against disease so what this means is if you fast then certain molecules and genes uh, perform better and they and they and, and the specific genes and molecules um, a big role in how long you live and how uh, how healthy you are so that's a very very big and important reason I get all my uh, resources all my knowledge which, which I tell you today from my own experience and from www.ncbe.nlm.com uh, I forgot the link. I'll post it in the description. If you are still very interested in uh, the way hunger works and the way our body functions, then I recommend this book, Hunger, by this writer, Shaman Abd Russell. This book really illuminates the, the biology and the spirituality about hunger. Uh, it dives deep in the and how the, how the human body works F say with a, like a fast for 18 hours or 36 hours 7 days or even 30 days and the whole notion about about fasting is, is it's such an old it's one of the oldest um, things that human beings do so you should really pick it up uh, I really liked the book I read it two times now and uh, yeah just a tip